What's up, YouTube? It's Jeffrey Howell from Black Donuts in Education, and today I'm going to do a video on how I effectively cleaned some corroded and ammunition that had built up on it. I received a bunch of ammunition from a friend of mine that had it in a military grade footlocker, but the footlocker had been on the elements for so long that the ammunition had started having some corrosion on it, also had some buildup, and I want to take a chance or clean it to see if I can actually make this ammunition fire. So I inquired through a few people and I came across a couple of videos and I want to try it myself. All I did was made a simple solution of regular table salt and white distilled vinegar. Now for every cup of vinegar, I use a full tablespoon of table salt. And I put it in these little, little jars here and the jars have the lids on it. When I put it in there, I put it in there, um, seal the jar with the lid. Shake it up pretty good, you know, a little, a little bit in there, get it shook, so make sure that all the, that all the salt and all the vinegar got all around the rounds, and I let them sit. Now, I've got two different rounds that I did it on. Well, actually, excuse me, three different rounds I did it on. I did it on, on some 9mm rounds. I also did it on some 40 s and and some 22 long rifle. So what I'm going to do now, since I've already done it, and I'm going to show you the photos of how the ammunition looked before and after, so therefore you can see how the solution actually cleaned the ammunition but the telltale sign is I want to know if this ammunition is going to work so what I'm going to do is I'm going out to the range now and test the ammunition I mean it looks decent but for the most part I want to see what it's still fire so this is me taking a little bit of a risk but you know what you won't know something until you do something for yourself so let's see exactly how the outcome is going to be so take a look at the photos first I'm going to show you the photos of how everything looked um, prior and once it got cleaned and what I used and then take a look at then we'll go out to the range and you see how the actual ammunition itself shoots all right so take a look at the photos now Alright, so you saw the ammo look before and you saw how it looked afterwards. So now let's go out to the range and see how this ammo actually operates after being cleaned thoroughly in that solution. Alright, let's go y'all. On my way to the range right now and I'm really excited because I want to see exactly if these rounds are going to function properly after being cleaned in that solution of distilled white vinegar and salt. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. So on my way to the range right now, so <sighs> let's go. All right, everyone, it's the moment that I've been waiting on. So here it is. I'll be shooting the nine millimeter first. I'll be shooting it out of the Springfield XDS. Springfield XDS, all right? So what I've got is, I've got six magazines. Two magazines um, of nine capacity, two eight capacity, and one, I'm sorry, three eight capacity, and one seven capacity, for a total of 57 rounds. So this is 57 rounds out of 133 because the 133 9mm rounds that I cleaned out, all right? So let's see. I normally don't wear gloves, but I'm wearing gloves today just in case, all right? <laughs> let's go.
Overall, not too bad. Two failure defeats, two failure to ejects out of 57 rounds. So, that means that the ammunition was not that bad at all. So, um, was it worth cleaning? So far, so good. So that was the nine, that was the nine millimeter. I only cleaned uh, three rounds of the 40 cal. So let's check out the 40 cal real quick, all right? All right, next up is gonna be the 40 cal. Remember, it's only three rounds of that. So three rounds of the 40 cal, and I'll be shooting that out of my Sig Sauer P229, all right? So let's see if these three rounds actually, actually work. So here we go. So all three of the all three of the uh, 40 cal rounds actually actually work. So so the cleaning obviously was effective. Now for the 40 cal, only three rounds. I wish I had more to actually shoot on that one, but I only had three rounds that was 40 cal that I cleaned. But the nine millimeter at the 57 rounds. There were two failure to feed, two failure to ejects. Now, if that had anything to do with the cleaning itself or with the rounds itself, I don't know. But I will say that I would, in my honest opinion, I would think that the solution actually did work in order to clean the rounds. And that was a much higher, um, much higher uh, positive rate than what I expected. So, hey, I'm happy. I can't say, I, I can't say enough about it. It was free ammunition. <laughs> Somebody gave it to me and said, hey, you can have this. And I took it. Cleaned it and it, 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 it performs. But once again, the 9 mil did decent. The, uh, only had three rounds of 40 cal that, that I actually uh, did. So now I also told you before I had 22 uh, long rifles. Uh, I brought my Mossberg 715P, the, the, uh, the 22 long rifle pistol that we have. And that, that actual weapon is very particular when it comes to any ammunition at all. The only thing I've successfully been able to shoot out of it is the CCI. Um, the CCI uh, standard velocity and also the the other I also the CCI I'm able to shoot out of it. But anyway, it only likes CCI ammo for some reason. So I attempted to work on that one, but everything kept jamming and and uh, failure failure to feed on that. But I can't blame that on the am I mean can't blame that on the ammo itself because that particular weapon when I shoot it is very particular about what it actually uh, likes to shoot. So, but anyway. I did it, y'all, and I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up shooting a few more rounds down here that I have, and I'll see if there's any other difference. Cause I got still have 76 more rounds left of of, of what I'm doing. So let's see how it works out. All right. Anyway, this is Jeffrey Al for Black Gunners in Education. Peace out, YouTube. Peace out, each and every one of you out there in the internet land. See you out on the range.